All right, guys, um, I'm back with another update after a little break. Um, got a lot of shit to show. So uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, <clears throat> I've got a little bit of everything. Um, tapes, uh, vinyl, CDs. So, yeah, let's get started. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show... Um, I posted this one on Instagram the other day. Um, I didn't show it in in depth, though. Um, I, it was just kind of like a little teaser of just kind of what it is and the, and the layout and whatnot. So, yeah, so in case you haven't bought this and you're thinking about it, um, now you get a chance to see in depth what it looks like. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is the uh, Limbonic Art uh, Cassette Collection box set. Uh, this features the first five full lengths, limited to 500 copies, released through Flogo Records. Um, also comes with this really nice patch. And um, this is actually on sale right now, um, or at least it was last time I checked on their distro, so... Um, if you're interested, I would say now is probably the time to pick it up before it's gone. <clears throat> so yeah, like I said, uh, features the first five full lengths. So we got uh, Moon and the Scorpio, which had I known they were releasing this box set, I wouldn't have bought. Um, I wouldn't have gotten their first two full lengths on, you know on tape already the mystic production versions i wouldn't have bought those had i known this was coming um but oh well <clears throat> so yeah here's the uh fold out booklet and uh, i compared the two and it looks pretty similar to the uh to the other one uh, there's a few changes here and there but it looks pretty fairly uh similar and uh, all the tapes come in, uh, come on uh, translucent uh, blue shell uh, tapes. Very nice. I don't really think I need to talk about Limbonic art too much. I think uh, most people are familiar with them. And we have, next we have In Abhorrence Dementia. Kind of just gonna kind of show the layout on all these here. Very nice. And next we have um, <clears throat> Epitome of Illusions, third full length. Yeah, man, Floger Records always does a really good job with their reissues. Like, anytime, like, I don't even need to fucking hesitate when it comes to Floger Records. Like, if I know they're putting it out, I know it's going to be top quality um, and just really, really nice uh, packaging kind of stuff. Fourth album, Ad Noctum, Dynasty of Death. Like I said, these all like the tapes, the tapes themselves all look identical, so that's why I'm not showing them. They're literally just all the same blue shelled tapes with a uh, white font. And, uh, fuck, which one's this one called? The Ultimate Death Worship. Yeah. 
fifth full length. So yeah, very nice. If you haven't checked out Limbonic Art, I definitely recommend uh, the first album, Moon and the Scorpio. That one's my favorite. But um, everything <clears throat> that I've heard from them is awesome. So, but that first album is definitely something special. So yeah, man, um, very, very, very nice uh, cassette box set. As always, like I said, Flover Records never disappoints when it comes to stuff like this. So if you're interested, get it while it's available. That's Limbonic Art with the cassette collection. All right, next up we have a band from the UK. Um, this is a Heathen Deity or Heathen uh, Deity. I think I think I usually pronounce it Deity, but whatever. Uh, with Nottingham Infernal, this is a uh, a live release. Released through Death Cult Productions, limited to 50 copies. I have number 25. Um, Heathen Deity are fantastic. Um, I kind of just recently discovered them. Um, which is a good thing because I'm not familiar with a lot of black metal bands from that area like the UK and stuff so um it was very nice to you know what's the word I'm looking for it's nice to discover more good bands from that area um and these guys don't disappoint this is a fantastic release uh the sound quality the live quality on here um is pretty good but yeah um, I got this from Appalachian Noise Records. Um, Death Cult is sold out on their Bandcamp, but Appalachian Noise might still have copies of this. I don't know. Um, I, if you're interested, it's definitely uh, worth checking out. Uh, but yeah, that's Heathen Deity with Nottingham Infernal. And the last tape I'm going to show, this is uh, Wintar with Winter Worship. So, this is... Okay, well, so first off, Wintar is an atmospheric black metal band from Russia. Very, very, very good band. It's a one-man one project. Um, I'm a little confused with this, though, because this... I was a little confused with this, though, because this album is not listed on the Metal Archives. Um... When I looked up information on it, it was released in 2016, but according to the Metal Archives, it doesn't even, it doesn't exist in the discography. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe somebody needs to update it. I don't know, but yeah, because according to the Metal Archives, uh, the self-titled album is the debut, but uh, I don't know. But uh, Wintar ha already has started and hasn't been around for very long give or take a few years um and this guy already has several full lengths put out uh, a few splits i think a couple demos eps maybe i don't remember off the top of my head um but just every single one of re of his releases though is just perfection it is just phenomenal atmospheric black metal and russia is not really a country that i've found any black metal in that I don't like like that that is just kind of one of those places where anything black metal that comes from there is just perfect uh, so yeah just J card folds out like this and uh, it says it's limited to 100 copies but mine isn't numbered so I don't know what the fuck is up with that but whatever But yeah, I will definitely um, have a link for this shit in the bank, or not, or for uh, in the description box. Um, so check this out if you haven't. You won't be disappointed. Amazing, amazing band. 
That's Wintar with Winter Worship. All right, let's go to the CDs. We have, um, this is a Turnum with Summoning the Wolven Spirit. Uh, this is the second Eternum full length. And uh, Eternum is a side project, or was a side project, because I think it's no longer active. Um, from Asgore of Drawing the Light. And this is more or less, this was more or less his atmospheric black metal project. Um, he also had somebody else in the band, uh, goes by Nightwolf. Um, this shit's very different. It's like, like Asgore does the vocals but it's so much different like than what you hear on like his other projects like drawing the light balgadriel harvest it's so much different um than than the vocals you hear on there like if you if you didn't know it was asgore doing vocals you wouldn't know it i know that doesn't make any sense but i <laughs> Um, basically you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, I mean, if somebody came up and told you, they were like, Hey, that's Asgore doing vocals. You wouldn't even know because it doesn't even sound like him, but it is, it's just very different than what he usually does, um, on his releases, but great project though. Um, Eternum is definitely my favorite out of his, uh, out of his, uh, projects other than drawing the light. Um, so I definitely recommend checking out Eternum if you haven't, especially if you're a fan of atmospheric black metal, <clears throat> give it a shot. That's Eternum with Summoning the Wolven Spirit. All right, next up we have a U.S. band. Um, this is uh, Ronskald. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, this is their demo from 2017. Um, Self-released as far as I can tell. So, uh, and they has members from Illinois and California, I think. Something like that, I don't know. Uh, basically, this is kind of just like pagan black metal. Um, I don't really know how else to describe it. That's basically what it is. So, uh, definitely recommended for, like, fans of Graveland. Definitely. Uh, what other band can I, can I compare these guys to? I don't know. Graveland is like the best example, though, to, com to compare uh, this band to. Um, I I will try to find links for this shit. Um, I'll see what I can do. I don't know if they have a band camp or, or what, but I'll, I'll search around and see what I can find because I definitely recommend checking this project out. <clears throat> yep, that's Ron Scald. And I also have their... Uh, their debut full length from this year. This is The Means of Barbarity. And uh, this also has a Satanic War Master cover on it. Uh, they cover Raging Winter, which uh, is pretty good cover. I wonder if... Yeah, it's not a booklet, it's just a... Yeah, like I said, just very, like, DIY... <clears throat> independent shit here. But yeah, great stuff. Like I said, definitely recommended for fans of Graveland and just pagan black metal like that. That's Ron Skald with The Means of Barbarity. I'll see what I can do as far as links are concerned. All right. Next up, we have uh, another 2019 release. Uh, this is uh, Heathen Deity, or not Heathen Deity, god damn it. <laughs> Mist of Misery with uh, Unalterable. Uh, this is their newest full length, obviously. I just said that, and I keep repeating myself, and I don't know why. Uh, it's a double CD set here, because this album is literally almost two hours long. 
but it's a fantastic release. Um, I've talked about Mr. Misery plenty of times, um, but in case you're not familiar with them, they are from Sweden, and they kind of they kind of mix uh, DSBM with symphonic black metal. And uh, for those of you that have never heard it, I know what you're thinking. You know, it's probably not going to be for me, but um, I highly recommend checking it out nonetheless. I know, it just has lyrics and shit on the inside. It's, I know it's really hard to see because of the lighting, but yeah. But yeah, man, um, just... Do yourself a favor, go check out Mist of Misery, fantastic band, um, put out through Black Lion Records, I don't know if I mentioned that, um, so yeah, Mist of Misery, unalterable, alright, let's go to the vinyl now, so I'm, I'm kind of late on this one, um, <clears throat> this is, uh, fuck, I think this one came out last year. I'm pretty sure. Um, this is Birth with uh, Echoes from the Seven Caves of Blood. Uh, Birth is from the States. And uh, these guys are also playing uh, Never Surrender Fest this October, which I will be attending. Looking forward to that. And that's just black vinyl. Uh, so basically the best way to describe Birth, if you haven't heard them, is just super fucking raw black metal. Um, not raw like Black Solis raw, but um, it's definitely on the raw side. Good riffs, which is really all you need. <clears throat> and uh, put out through Iron Bonehead. So of course I can't get the inner sleeve inside all the way. I've only noticed that that's the problem with their gatefold releases on their single like sleeve uh, on their single jacket uh, releases. I don't have that problem. It's only their gatefold releases. And I know you guys are probably tired of me bitching about that every time I show an Iron Bonehead release, but goddamn, it's annoying. It really is. But anyways, um, Birth is definitely worth checking out. Um, they do have another full length. Uh, that came before this, uh, Saviors of Armageddon, I think that's what it's called, um, <clears throat> that one is a tad better than this one, I think, but this one is still really good, um, especially the track, fuck, where is it, Call of the New Legion, that one is fantastic, so, and there's also a track on here that features, uh, Manak, I think that's how you pronounce his fucking name, I don't know, uh, the dude from Mutilation, so that's cool. <clears throat> so yeah, go check out Birth if you haven't. That's Birth with Echoes from the Seven Caves of Blood. And we are going to go back to Eternum. This is their debut, Veil of Ancient Darkness. Uh, this is a reissue that came out a couple years ago. And the only thing I don't like about this reissue is... They didn't use the original artwork. And it's a reissue through Iron Bonehead. Out of Eternum's three full lengths, I definitely, um, Veil of Ancient Darkness is definitely my favorite. Uh, the original album artwork was uh, the picture of Nightwolf on the front. It was this picture. I really wish they would have used that instead. It's like, they can use it for the insert, but not the album cover. I don't get it, but whatever. Yeah, very nice. And then it's just black vinyl. See how it goes nicely into the sleeve? It's like, I don't get it. <laughs> it's like on the single jacket releases, it's fine, but... They, they can't get it right with those gatefold releases. And of course, um, I, I did get this from Nuclear War Now. Um, 
But yeah, it's got their shit on one side of this and then iron bonehead shit on this side. Because for those of you that don't know, Nuclear War Now is Iron Bonehead's U.S. Uh, distribution. So, yeah. And that's where I got this was Nuclear War Now. So, in case you're interested. So yeah, that is Eternum with Veil of Ancient Darkness. And we have their third full length here. This is The Devouring Descent. Uh, this one is a tad different. Um, this one's got like more, kind of like less black metal and more kind of like acoustic passages in it, which I really like. It's still atmospheric black metal. It's just um, a little different than uh, the other stuff. Again, Iron Bonehead release. Nice gatefold there. And it is a double LP. Um, it's just black vinyl, so I'm not gonna fucking... I'm not gonna pull this shit out. And it comes with a poster. of the album art, which is very nice. Um, I think, I'm trying to remember where I picked this one up from. I think I got this one from Ominous Domain. I don't remember. Eternum, The Devouring Descent. Alright. Next up, we're going to go back to uh, Heathen Deity uh, again. This is Religious Purification Through Fire. Um, this is their EP from 2017, I think. Um, this is the vinyl release through Death Cult Productions that just came out this year. Uh, this also has some live tracks on it, too. Um, so you got the EP on side one, and then um, one live track on side one, then uh, three more live tracks on side uh, two. And this was limited to 100 copies. Uh, I've got number 14. Comes with this little insert. Got the fucking church. And then it also comes with a poster of the album art. Very nice. And then it's just a uh, black vinyl. Yeah, I will have a link for this EP in the description, or demo, whatever. I, yeah, I think it's a demo. It's it's listed as a demo. Whatever. I'll have this in the description, or in the description box. Definitely check this out if you haven't. This shit is fantastic. That's Heathen Deity with Religious Purification Through Fire. And last but certainly not least, we have uh, Mare Cognitum with Phobos Monolith. Uh, I think this is uh, the third full length. And probably my favorite out of this one and uh, an, extra an Extra Conscious Lucidity or probably uh, Neck and Neck is my favorite. But yeah, this one is fantastic. And uh, this is the newest reissue through Fallen Empire Records, which, as most of you know, Fallen Empire is now out of business. 
Um, this I obtained from Mayor Cognitum's Bandcamp. Um, so if you're interested in buying it, that's where you can check to see if they still have copies. I don't know. But yeah, really, really, really love the album art on this album. Um, they did a fantastic job with that. Very nice. Uh, I don't remember if I showed the gatefold or not, but there it is. And then it comes on this uh, blue, I don't know what the fuck you call it. There's like some white and shit in there, I don't know. Blue with white kind of splatter, merge, whatever the hell you want to call it. I think this one looks pretty much the same. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, side four is uh, Dead Wax. Yeah. Very nice. So, the only full length from Mayor Cognitum, I, from Mayor Cognitum that I still need is their newest one. Uh, which I don't remember the name of it. Starts with an L. But yeah, um, and then for those of you that have not checked out Mayor Cognitum, just fantastic atmospheric black metal from the States. Um, I can't recommend this shit enough. Go check it out if you haven't. That's Mayor Cognitum with Phobos Monolith. And uh, all right, guys. Um, that's it for this update. Um, my schedule is pretty fucking busy. Um, because I work fucking six days a week now instead of just five, which I know some of you are probably thinking, oh, well, I work seven days a week. You're like, okay, well, whatever. Um, but yeah, so, and then just between that and then the other shit I have to, you know, deal with in my life, it's hard finding time to make videos, so I will get another video out when I can, um, because I do have a lot more shit coming in, so, uh, hopefully it won't be two more weeks before I get another video out, but, you know, if it, that's the case, and it is what it is. All right, um, that's it, guys. Take care, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.